Hi, today I'm excited to show you a few different diaphragm pump technologies on the marketplace today. And then we're gonna compare the different flow characteristics that each one of them produces. First, we're gonna look at the solenoid diaphragm metering pump. Here, you will see with a solenoid pump, the transition from chemical discharge to the suction phase can be very extreme. The repeating cycle between chemical discharge and the suction, or the dead zone, can cause severe pulsations within your plumbing. Over time, this excessive pulsation may damage plumbing, equipment, and instrumentation you may have in your line. Next, I'd like to show you how a conventional, motor-driven, single diaphragm pump operates. Here you'll see the chemical is again discharging, but at a much steadier rate when compared to the solenoid pump. Notice the dead zone is still significant during the suction phase of the motor-driven diaphragm metering pump. Lastly, I'd like to show you how our new CD1 multi-diaphragm metering pump operates. As you can see here, our CD1 pump has a much smoother feed rate. This is achieved by having two diaphragms in separate phases from one another. For example, when one diaphragm is in the suction phase of the cycle, the other diaphragm is in the discharge phase of the cycle. This repeating cycle ensures we eliminate dead zones and we achieve smooth, continuous flow rate. Thank you for joining us today, and be sure to check out more on our website at blue-white.com.